Hey y'all! Welcome to Isoblog number two! Not four, two! So I'll be telling you something that's going on in my life while I am contained within the four walls of my apartment. Then I'll be recommending a sweet movie for you to watch. Afterwards, I'll talk about some awesome activity that you could be doing while you are quarantining it out. And finally, I will sing for you. So the newest phenomenon I have been experiencing during quarantine has actually been happening while I'm sleeping. My dreams have never been so sweet since I have not left the house for two weeks. So last night, I dreamed that I was at a banquet brunch on the fucking beach. And the night before, I was in an outdoor music festival surrounded by Alps listening to electronic music as the snow fell around me. This makes me wonder what everybody else's isolation dreams are like right now. Like are most people like me just having dreams about being outside and having fun? Or my dreams just super basic? Like I'm feeling like real successful people have much more productive dreams than I do. Like maybe in a successful person's dream, they're inventing a carbon neutral society run by women or they're rewriting the history of the world. But at least I'm not dreaming that I'm voting for Republicans in our next election. So now moving on to movie Rex. I reckon on the movie Relatos Sabayas by Damien Zivron. This film was also produced by Pedro Almavar, who directed the film Volver and Bad Education as well. It's four or five short scenes where there's some sort of conflict. You kind of feel like there's two ways that it can be solved, but the person chooses to take the irrational route in order to get where, what he or she wants. And you end up watching these scenes completely devolve. Basically, a lot of people giving into their animal or childlike instincts, but it's really funny. It's dark. Anyway, I think it's really relevant to what's going on in our lives right now. I've heard so many stories of people getting in fights on the line of the grocery store because they're not respecting distances and someone asks someone to move a little bit away and this completely turns into like a chaotic scene where everyone's screaming at each other. And this is really the essence of the film. It's satisfying to see how they actually just like jump into the animal reaction as I think we all want to do right now, but most of us don't. Anyway, this movie is super relevant, super fun, really well made. Go see it. Okay, moving on to my activity recommendation. I've been taking gyrokinesis with my friend Roseanne Baker, and it has completely changed how I feel since I've been stuck inside. It's a mix between yoga and Pilates. It also feels like that deep stretch you get in the morning when you wake up and it's just so satisfying. You're massaging the tissue that connects your muscle to your bone. And then you're also getting deep tissue massages as you're working. And Roseanne is just so good. She's so positive. She gives her classes out of her apartment in San Francisco. It kind of helps you feel like you're in a different place, traveling. You see the sunlight filtering into her apartment and it, it feels like California sunlight. She gives classes all week at home. She has an Instagram that I will link to the bottom of this video. Now for a little singing. Hope you enjoy. I'll be singing Summertime from the one and only Gershwin. Enjoy and have a lovely time in your house.
I wonder what Trump is dreaming about. Gold things, Big Macs, Cheetos.